Well, it has been a bit of an interesting week uh, for many of us. And, you know, for my family, we've been dealing with COVID all week this week. And today is, is the, the best day that I've sounded in a couple of days. But as I sit here on my step, um, in a neighborhood that is safe, I have been feeling overburdened uh, with what's happening in our world and more specifically what's happening in the Ukraine. And I found myself actually saying, Lord God, what, what, can, what can I do? I feel so helpless. The least I can do is pray. And I was challenged by something that Ann Voskamp uh, put up on her social media this week. And, and it was something like this, and it's, it's such a great quote. And it says this, prayer isn't the least we can do. Prayer isn't all we can do. Prayer is ultimately the most we can do. And so in these days of uh, strife and the images that we see on the news and the heaviness that we all feel, we need to be finding ourselves on our knees in prayer for what's happening in our world. And so what I'm gonna do right now is, is we are gonna pray together. And I'm just going to invite you as you watch to actually pray in the chat below and type in your prayer. And what we're going to do is we're going to pray online and I'm going to invite you to join me in that space by typing your prayer below. And so feel free to pray along with me in that way as we do so together. Let's pray. Lord God, in these times of, uh, of strife, of war, of um, uneasiness and unrest, it is so difficult for us to be able to fully understand or know what we can do, especially as, um, as we sit in our warm houses, as we know the peace of our neighborhoods, it is so hard for us to understand. And yet we see the images on the screen and our hearts are burdened. And so Lord God, we intercess on behalf of the nation of Ukraine. And we would ask Heavenly Father that um, your power would just be unleashed upon this nation. We would ask that um, that you would provide safety as your word tells us that you are a great fortress and so you are a God of protection, of love and of safety. And so in these moments, we pray for safety for the people of Ukraine. We pray that your love would just overflow, Lord God, and that you would change the minds of those that are causing um, the strife and the fighting and the unrest. God, I pray for, for diplomatic peace. And I pray that a miracle would happen in this space and that, and that your love would reign and that people would come to the table and would talk. And God, as your word tells us, as we will open up later on, as your word tells us, as a people, when people pray to you, you act and you do. That is the power of prayer. And so we believe you have that power today. And so we pray. We pray for the people of the Ukraine. God, we pray for the Salvation Army's work on both sides of the border, Heavenly Father, because we know the Salvation Army is at work in Russia and the Salvation Army is at work in the Ukraine. And so we pray that as we minister in those spaces to the people, that we would be able to do so in love and that we would be able to provide protection um, and that we would be able to provide your love to others. God, it is so hard to know what to pray for, but you are the God that is greater than all of these things. And so we thank you, we love you, and we would ask that you would work in this space. We pray all those things in your name today, Heavenly Father, amen.